how to animate Spider-Man swinging using Animbot's temp controls. By the end of this video, your Spider-Man rig will bend this way rather than this way. You're going to start by going to Preferences, this little orange icon here, then go to Files slash Projects, Auto Save, Enabled Limit Auto Saves On to around 50, and have it save every 10 to 5 minutes. Save this to your project file, or you can create a file somewhere in your computer. Now press save. The Amazing Spider-Man rig is in a link in the description. Select this blue control, go to your control box, and turn on your FK controls. With this rig, it is set to one. Do the same thing for both arms and legs. Then go to the top leg FK control, set the FK world local value to 10 for both legs. Now they will follow his hips. Select the lower hip control, go down to your Animbot toolbar, and press temp controls. Create a simple control in world space in position and orientation, and name it reverse spine. Then select a color. Now select the temp control, go to the Animbot toolbar, then go to your temp controls anim controls, and hold down control shift click. This will add a parent control near the root control. Repeat this two more times. Now select the largest parent control. On your Animbot toolbar, hover over the same tool and press Control, Shift, Alt, click. Now you have a locator that you can position to the base of his neck or the top of his chest. Click off, select the second largest control. Control, Shift, Alt again, click. Now move this pivot to the center of his geometry of his spine. Click off again. Select the last parent control, Control shift alt click center the pivot in the middle of his geometry. Select the first control we created, go down, Control shift alt click, and move it up to the first hip control. Make sure it's centered. Now click off. The temp controls do have the ability to make a control the child of another control, but it only lets you do this once. You can't have a parent, child, and grandchild. So we're going to do this workaround with Maya parent constraints. Make sure your menu is set to animation. Go to constraints, parent option box, and turn on maintain offset. Now select the largest temp control, shift select the top spine control of the original rig, and then hit apply. You will see over here, the translations and rotations are now blue. Select the second largest temp control and then the original rig control below it. Now hit apply and repeat this process all the way down the chain. Now select the original rig spine controls and the hip control. Now press S to set a key. The blue highlight turns green and now there's a new attribute that's set to zero. Make sure this attribute is turned to one for all of the original rig spine control. Now roughly pose the arm in a swing position, starting with the clavicle. Select the arm controls, including the clavicle. Go down to your Animbot toolbar and press mirror. Now go to your base control and translate it up to where his hands would be grabbing onto the web. While the base control is still selected, go to the Animbot toolbar and copy Xform's world space. Then select your center of gravity control, hover your mouse over the copy Xform's world space button and press control. Click paste Xform's world space. Select the largest temp control, go to the Animbot toolbar, hover your mouse over the temp control anim controls, press control shift and click. With this temp control, go to your outliner, go to your drop downs. Now right click and turn on shapes. Select the shape of this control, which just looks like this curve and create a layer. Double click and name this layer, all caps, don't touch controls and make it red, save. Now select all of your original rig constrained controls Right click on your layer and press add selected objects. Now select your center of gravity control and your largest temp control. Now go up to constrain, parent constraint. Set a key on your largest temp control and turn this attribute on. Now go to your display layers and turn the visibility off. 
Now when you select your new temp controls, he rotates in a swinging action. Now we want his arms to follow the center of gravity control. Select his top arm control and create temp control. Make a simple control in object space in position and orientation. Name it R arm and change the color to green. Do the same process for his left arm, but change the color to red. Now go to the temp control icon and press this little arrow above him. Now select the temp control panel. Select your right arm control in the panel and shift click the center of gravity control in the viewport. Make sure orientation is unlocked and click relative space. Repeat this process for the left arm. Select the left arm in the panel control. Shift select the COG in the viewport. Unlock orientation and select relative space. Now close out of your panel. Now select your spine controls and your center of gravity control and rotate and you have a reverse spine, which will make animation and posing more intuitive when animating Spider-Man swinging. When you select the temp controls, and look at their values, you will see that there are values on translation, but not on rotation. Select your temp controls, go up to their values, and there should be translation values here. Right click, go to freeze, and select translations. Go to your Animbot toolbar and select snapshot preferred default pose. When you make a translation change to your animation and then zero it out back to the original pose. I wouldn't do that to these original rig controls. I would select your original rig controls and your temp controls. Go to frame zero and set a key. Just in case something messes up, you always have something to go back to regarding the controls we have altered, including the arm controls. You shouldn't freeze the transformations of these poses because their default is just the normal T pose. Now go to File, Increment, and Save. If this helped, please subscribe and like, and dislike and comment if it doesn't work or is not clear, and I'll fix it for you. In the next video, you'll learn how to attach Spider-Man to a motion path constraint for better swinging physics.